I have decided that today is going to be a vlog day. Um, because I need your help and I'll tell you why. Well, the, I, um, my girlfriend invited me to a party. Her, um, it's a semi-formal party um, at someone's house, a really nice house here in Chicago. And um, her boyfriend knows everybody that's gonna be there, but she won't know anybody. So she's concerned that, um, well, she was concerned she'd kind of be hanging in the wind. So she said, can, can I be her plus one? And I'm kind of her boyfriend's plus one and a half, <laughs> if that makes sense. Anyway, um, as you all know, I don't really go out very often from, you know, from a, you know, social perspective. I think the last time you saw me go out was maybe um, I want to say seven or eight months ago, we went to the to Lincoln Park Zoo, and I did the overly dramatic, and I asked you guys for help on how to get dressed for that. It was like a animal themed kind of a thing. Anyway, that all said, it was like March, March or so of this year, and so that was the last time. And so this is the next time. Here we are in uh, November, and I'm going out again. And I need your help on what to wear. It's semi formal. And here's where I struggle. Um, I don't, I'm not feeling very body confident at the moment. I am a bit heavier than usual. And so I just, you know, when that is, it's just a few pounds, but it makes a difference on your clothes. So you're not feeling anything that you wear. So I'm in that state. Also, it's cold, but I also don't want to be overly bundled and look like a nun. Secondly, I don't want to look overly sexy. When I put on a little bit of weight, everything I put on, my curves pop out like out. <laughs> so I'm not trying to be overly sexy. Also, I don't want to be uncomfortable um, in, well, in terms of fit as well as my feet. Um, I don't want to have to wear like heels and stuff. Like that. I don't not want to have to wear heels, but if I do wear heels, they have to be something very comfortable. And I don't know what color. I'm think I'm leaning towards black because semi-formal says black in my mind and also with me being concerned about weight black is slimming so i'm leaning towards black all that being said um i want to kind of show you some of this and what it does even though you can't answer me real time what it does is two things one it allows me to see what i look like on camera and which is uh the observer's eye not my own eye in the mirror and then two after the fact you're going to tell me what you like the best and i'll see if i made the right choice that all said um that's what we're going to do but i got some things i need to take care of ahead of that um i am going to i'm going back home i need to my closet is a friggin' disaster again how i keep getting into these situations is beyond me i promise myself that i won't and i do it anyway two so i mean that's the one i need to go and do a little bit of organization in my closet and wash a little bit too. Two, um, I need to go to the gym. Three, I need to go to Trader Joe's or I want to go to Trader Joe's. And then four, that's where we're gonna try on our outfit ideas. Um, and then go to this, this event. Hopefully um, it's not so private where I can't show you at least a little bit of like what the ambiance is like, but if not, I'll just tell you about it afterwards. That is the lay of the land, what we're gonna be doing today. Um, and hopefully you're interested and you'll come along on this journey and help me out with this outfit. Oh my gosh. So I decided to do Trader Joe's first. And there's this thing I've been trying to get for months. Sorry you can't see me very well because the sun is beautiful out here and whatever. Um, I usually say the sun is not letting me be great, but today this is such a gorgeous, Let me actually, let me just show you. How gorgeous and sunny. Ignore the fact that my car is like disgustingly filthy. You see that? Um, but this sunshine, OMG, that's just gorgeous. Anyway, anyway. for months at um, Trader Joe's, there's been this craze oh, about this one product called Kimbap and it's vegetarian sushi. Um, and I'm not even a huge sushi person, but the fact that everyone's been making such a big deal about it made me want to get it too. So I've been coming in here and checking for months, um, for this, uh, kimbap and finally found it. They do a limit four, but I only wanted to grab a couple, Gra really only wanted to grab one. But in the event that I really like this, I would have a second one, but, um, finally got it. And then this is also everyone's loving on is this. Popcorn is um, everything but the 
um, everything but the turkey. I think seasoning is what it's called. It's like Thanksgiving flavored popcorn. I got this and I got a few kernels out of the first bag that I got. Then hubby crushed the bag. So I went in and got a couple bags. So um, yeah, there's that. And then anyway, so let's head home, do what we said we were going to do. And um, I'm feeling like I want to just do the, I don't know, should I just get the outfit try on out of the way first before I start my chores? Oh no, I can't. I'm going to go home and drop this stuff off so we can go Zumba. Yeah, that's what we're doing. All right. I have about 45 minutes before I need to get going to my class. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know, as usual, you've seen this before, so you're not even going to be shocked, but I'm going to expose this pile of clothes that I need to put away. All right. This is what I need to put away. This is like I don't know how many loads of clothes. I couldn't even tell you, but loads of laundry. These are all clean. This up here is the infamous. It I've worn it. It's too clean to put in the dirty clothes, too dirty to put back away. So that's that infamous pile. Um, these are things that need to be hung and just too lazy because it requires me to get on a step stool to get up here. And I just don't want to do all that. And then the... Um, other side I have a ton of things to hang to this is one of the things that we're going to be trying on together the first thing but everything else behind here if you can see how many hangers that is needs to be put put away um probably hard to see I don't know if that light made things any better but um those that's that's what I need to to, to put away but the thing that is giving me the most angst is is this pile here um it's a lot it's a lot it is but anyway we move. I have about 45 minutes before I need to leave here for my class and I am struggling. I don't know if I want to start with this pile. Do I want to start with the filming of the stuff for you? Do I want a snack? Because I haven't eaten or dr drunken. <laughs> I haven't drunken anything either. Um, so I don't know if I need to do any. Should I take in a little something before my workout? But I am also kind of still a little full from dinner last night. I had nachos for dinner. I'm a little full from my nacho dinner last night. So I don't know. Um, anyway. <laughs> so I just got picked this up from um, Trader Joe's. <clears throat> and it's uh, it's a, like a vitamin C shot in a drink form. You drink it. You could chug it or make it into a drink. Whatever. However you decide you want to do it. I think I, I'm feeling like I want to do this before I go to the gym, but I also suffer from acid reflux. I sound like an old lady now. I got acid reflux, and I feel like this might be a little too acidic to drink right before, literally right before class. So I may hold on to this and just do this afterwards. What I was also thinking is to get a bunch of these. Do these need to stay refrigerated? Oh, shit. Maybe I'll freeze it. Um, for my trip to the UK um, coming up, I, my immune system is pretty fragile, so I'm thinking I'm going to buy a few of these and bring with. So I'll freeze them so that um, they can stay stay good, you know, for the trip and just have one, you know, um, before and after my flight while I'm there and then before and after my flight um, coming home. So five total. I'm thinking that might be a good idea. I don't know. You guys let me know. All right. We are Zumba bound. That, that is a wrap for Zumba, but guess what? I'm about to go undo my Zumba. <laughs> I'm going to uh, Starbucks. They have these like um, uh, winter or Christmas drinks, and one of them is an oatmeal, 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 gingerbread chai. I'm sure I'm saying it in the wrong order, but chai is my favorite tea drink. So, and I love oatmeal too gingerbread too so it says to me that i would love the drink so i'm gonna go and try it so let me order it on my app one sec oh my gosh i just ordered the drink and it is six dollars for a drink and i know you're like well why did you order it if you feel like it's expensive i'm gonna do it the one time so i can get the experience out the way but they ain't gonna see me again all right all right so this doesn't look like what it looked like on the picture um the gingerbread flavor is very light. I taste more of the pumpkin spice or whatever this stuff is on top. I taste more of that. 
Um, Six dollars, not worth it, wouldn't get it again, wouldn't even recommend it. Anyway, funny, hubby hates my house shoes. You saw me haul these not too long ago, but he absolutely hates these. They're super comfy though. So I narrowed it down to uh, two looks. You know what, when I'm recording on my phone, I have no idea where I'm supposed to look. Uh, I, the camera hole is there. Am I looking at you? I don't know. I'm centered here in the middle. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, so I narrowed it down to two looks. The very first one is one that is probably the most comfortable, um, except for the fact that I didn't put the bra underneath. So excuse all of that. I was just trying to be very quick um, about it, but I would put a black bra underneath it. Um, so this one is a satin, um, a maxi satin skirt. The only problem with this one is that it doesn't have pockets. And I was thinking I didn't want to bring a purse. I'll just throw my key um, in my pocket, but I didn't have a pocket on that one. So for that one, I would need a purse and I hadn't worked out the purse thing. Also, I kept it simple with the jewelry, right? Um, very, and then the top is very is chic but risky at the same time and long sleeve seem to suggest um appropriate for winter even though it's sheer like a mug it's more so for summer um and then for the shoe is more of a chunk block chunky heel with uh ample toe room very comfortable i guess if i need it i told my girlfriend comfort to me is being able to uh run away from a loose dog at any given moment and those shoes i could run in those shoes so the whole look overall to me seems semi-formal. The hair I would I would probably put up. That's my go-to thing. If I need to dress up and look cute, I put my hair up in a top knot bun. <laughs> so the look would probably be top knot bun with a little bit of wispies hanging down and some baby hairs pumping. Um, and I would switch my watch to the Breitling watch. Um, then the other look is the look that is probably more chic. Um, but less likely for me to get away from a dog. It's a maxi dress. It's fitted at the top, loose at the bottom. It has pockets. It has a nice little slit so I can move around really well. The pockets so I can put my key in there. So that's great. I love the fittedness at the top. Very feminine. The necklace is over the top. It's a collar necklace. So it's over the top, but it gives a little bling um, to just kind of make it sound, seem elevated and dressy. Um, the other thing about this is the shoes. The shoes are not all that, uh, run away from a loose dog worthy. They are some, um, silver pumps that I've had for a really long time from Charles David. Um, but I just love the mirrored silver effect of it. It's very cool. Eye-catching conversation starter. But do I actually want to converse with people is one thing that I need to answer for myself. Yeah. I don't know if I really want to be talking to people either. Um, I've settled on the fragrance. Um, I'm going to blend a couple fragrances. I'm going to do Glossier U with my um, Parfum de Marley Delina. Um, do a little hairspray, a little light spritz of the perfume on the clothes. And then my U is going to be on the pulse points. So that's going to be my scent. Um, lip gloss, of course. That's going to be the look. So... You tell me which one, if you, you know, you're looking at both along with me, which one, if you had to choose to go to a semi-formal affair at a mansion here in Chicago with people that you don't know, which outfit would you choose? Now, remember the first one, I'm going to put a bra on. My, my nipple covers will not be showing, but let me know what you think. I didn't show you my look, did I? It's not quite a look, but just wanted to show you what I have on. Earlier today, I had this on. You probably did see this. I don't know. Um, to work out in and it's a Felix the Cat t-shirt that I've chopped up or whatever for working out. I took off my leggings and threw on these super baggy, super baggy um, jeans from Free People. I, I love the size of these but I just don't like how, I don't know, these um, pockets are just ill-made. Ill They're just like, ball, like the fabric is just all balled up right here and you kind of see that balled up fabric right here. So I want, sometimes I'm thinking I want to cut them out, but then I also want, want pockets, you know? You know, one time I, <laughs> my husband has this thing that he says, he says a woman without curves is like jeans without pockets. You don't know where to put your hands. <laughs> but obviously a woman with curves is like jeans with a bunch of pockets. You have so many places to put your hands. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm about to eat a snack. I'm, I'm trying to not 
So I gotta leave here about five, six o'clock ish. And I don't want to eat anything heavy because I don't want a food baby um, for this. If for either look that I decide on, I don't want a food baby at this thing. But I also don't want to be starving today. So I'm trying to figure out how do I play it in the middle. Um, anyway, I, I gotta eat something though because I've worked out and I'm a bit tired. I haven't drink drinking drunken my chai yet. Um, drinked. <laughs> Anyway, let's let's move on. I decided to go with this for my look. It's kind of dark, so I can't really um, go to any other room and show you this. Um, so I'm using my little ring light here. But look how this this is now you get a better feel for it um, at night. How this sparkles. This is amazing. And the other thing that I found out about tonight, my friend sent me over the party details, and it says women, no heels. So I decided to swap out the silver pumps with silver sneakers. Um, so <laughs> there you have it. Okay, so you weren't able to see my face. So earlier I did do a little mask because um, one of those, you know, little facial mask thingies. Because I was looking dry and haggard and I don't want to show up looking like that. So um, I feel like I look a little refreshed. I got my lip gloss, my famed lip gloss. What you didn't see is I am going to be using this little clutch. This is so... Whoa so old school this is from gwen stefani's brand lamb i don't even know if it's defunct or if it's still a brand or anything like that but this is perfect for my keys and lip my car keys house keys and lip gloss so that's what's in here and then i always um carry my phone hopefully i can show you just a little bit if not i'll just close out in the car and tell you all about it but um i have to decide on a coat real quick um but i'm leaving uh i need to be there by like six and i think it takes about 25 minutes to get there five minutes to walk from wherever I park so let's get it all right I don't know if you can see me or not because it's so dark um but when I was little I think every parent said this if you turn this light on you would get a ticket and that is a lie but anyway <laughs> that said um I wanted just a, a small vulnerable moment here since I've agreed to go to this party I've been feeling like this anxious pit in my stomach I really struggle with being publicly social. The older I get, the worse it gets. But right now, I mean, every time I thought about or was reminded about the fact that I needed to go out today, like I would start to panic, start to sweat, can't catch my breath, all of the things. And um, I'm in route and I'm starting to feel that now. So like my like my ears, inside my ears are like pounding right now. So anyway, um, even though it's, it seems like it should be something that like, it's so cool, easy, whatever. The older I get, the more socially awkward I get. And so the less I want to go out. <laughs> but just a vulnerable moment. I don't know if any of you are feeling this way. Maybe. Sound off in the comments below. All right, let me set you up right here. Hopefully you can see me. Well, let's do the illegal thing and turn the light on. <laughs> um. So, first of all, this was a great experience. The house that I went to was sitting on dubs. It was a huge huge house um apparently has four levels but the party was just on two of the levels really huge house i i would definitely enjoy having a house like that it was really really nice um ceiling super high on every floor nicely decorated the theme of the party all throughout the house like so clever so nice food everywhere it was an awesome experience they even had um a caricature artist there and I did the brave thing. I went and I watched other people get drawn, first of all. First person get drawn. I mean, you would have thought the artist was mad at this woman, how he drew her. <laughs> the next people, the next couple, they were drawn, I mean, not even close. Somebody even asked him, are you drawing what your eyes see or just something else completely different? So I did the brave thing. I understanding that this dude was savage. I was just like, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and get my picture drawn i felt like you know he was gonna do the five head situation but actually he did not give me a big forehead so i'm about to get a character caricature done and i've watched this guy draw, draw a few other people and when i tell you he's savage so i'm fully expecting to have like a five head or six head in this picture um wide nose high cheekbones um, oh, and I think that's about it. I might look bald because um, now it's shining here. But the way that he did these other people, I'm savage, so I'm fully prepared. He 
actually just simply drew somebody completely different. Didn't even look like me. You all know what I look like. <laughs> but this, this picture does not look like me. But it's cute. It's cute. It's fun. But that ain't me. <laughs> so anyway, um, danced a little bit with my friend. Her um, guy, um, her guy friend was the DJ. And, um, you know, usually she and I are the ones who dance first and get the party started. So that is no different. We did the same this time. We were the first ones to get up and dance. And um, everybody started to dance thereafter, saying happy birthday to the birthday girl. It was a really, really nice thing. I got myself something to eat. Um, you know, normally places, uh, when you go places, they don't accommodate, um, vegetarians, but this one, you know, very inclusive, had things that I could eat, which was awesome. I wasn't even expecting to be able to eat, <clears throat> but, uh, nice surprise. They did have something to eat. I wasn't, remember I was belaboring the idea of eating cause I didn't want a food baby before I went. Um, but, uh, worked out. I just ate while I was there and got a food baby while I was there. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I'm hoping I'm not missing out any, um, details here. If I do miss out on any details, it'll be future me coming in on the end of this to talk about it. But, um, otherwise, um, I think I covered everything and hopefully you enjoyed. Follow me along. Um, yeah, I just hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Leave comments down below. Share it with your friends because we're trying to grow. We're trying to get monetized. We're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. And I need your help. Bye.